Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Missy and today I'm trying to be a little quiet. Paul's upstairs sleeping. I wanna plow through a few freezer meals. Now I am doing, I did a collab notification yesterday. I'll link it at the end of this video, talking about a collab that I wanna do in November with open to anybody who wants to participate. I want freezer meals. I need freezer meals and I was hoping you guys could give me freezer meal ideas. Every Friday in the month of November, I'm going to do freezer meals. And if you wanna do a video of freezer meals, I upload on Fridays at 7 a.m., just 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just leave me a note in the descriptions that you posted a video and I'll add it to the playlist. So like I said, I need lots of freezer meals. It's the holidays, we have a lot of people coming. The more pregnant I get, the less I want to make dinner and I wanna avoid getting takeout. I also have a lot of meat that I wanna use up. So rewind a little bit. We get butcher box. And I think we've been getting butcher box now for oh, five plus years. They used to do this thing. They don't do it anymore. At least I haven't seen it in a while where you could do something for life. And anytime I saw those, I got it. So it was like spend $20 and get free bacon for life. So I did every time I saw those, I did that. So with every box I get free bacon, free chicken drumsticks, free ground beef, and free wings with every box I get those four things for free so the freebies kind of like back up a little bit except for the ground beef we go through bacon we go through but the drumsticks and the wings kind of back up on me I am more of a my brain instinctively goes to white meat when I was a kid my mom pretty much only cooked chicken breasts we never really had any chicken thighs or drumsticks as I get older I ventured into them realized how delicious they were but my mind just like kind of always goes to chicken breasts first so I have drumsticks or chicken drumsticks falling out of my freezer so I pulled out seven packs so that's seven pounds and I found I oh got the hiccup sorry I found this really awesome recipe on Pinterest and it is for seven chicken marinade recipes for the freezer and this is by Denise Buster, I think is how you pronounce her name. I'll link this in the description box below. And it's an awesome printout. It gives you literally boom, 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 all seven marinade recipes for your chicken. She is using skinless, boneless chicken breasts in this, but I'm just gonna swap that for drumsticks. She gives the cooking instructions for your oven, your grill, or an air fryer. And then at the bottom, she notes that if you're using dark meat to adjust the cooking times accordingly. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a really cool thing. I, pregnant brain, skimmed over it and was like, oh, okay, I need these couple things at the grocery store. And one of the ones, which is probably one of my favorites, yogurt, curry, chicken, marinade. I forgot the yogurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna swap that one for just plain old barbecue sauce. So I do realize that I could take the chicken out, put barbecue sauce in it, if that's my only marinade, that seems pretty stupid easy, but there's something about it already being done in the freezer. I'm just more likely to grab that than to be like, oh, I have to thaw it, put it in something, put barbecue sauce on it. I know it's totally laziness on my part. So anywho, we're gonna do six of hers and then one just barbecue sauce, but I'll list this below. I plan on doing that curry one in the near future. I am also going to do something a little bit different. I saw this from moneysaver.com I think is the website. She used silicone bags and I'm like, duh, I have these. So I'm going to use silicone bags. I made sure that I had enough of them. I have seven. And then I saw her writing on them instead of using a sticker, she was using this bad boy. It's a wax pencil by Sharpie. So we're gonna try this and I'm just gonna write on it what it is. I don't know if I'll write the cooking instructions because I kind of just know it. I'm gonna do all sorts of different things with these to be honest. Sometimes I might throw them in the slow cooker or the instant pot. I might put them in the air fryer. It kind of depends on how much time I have or how much I want to fuss with it. So I'm just going to put what it is. I'm not even going to put the date on these because I intend to fly through these in the next couple months. I'm not going to put them in my deep freezer in my garage. I'm going to put them in the freezer here in the kitchen so that I can see them. And especially with family coming over in the next few months, we're just going to go through these real fast and go through because I got more coming. I got another box I get bills at the end of this month, so I'm getting more drumsticks. But I wanted to push all these old drumsticks out. Not that they're really old, but you know what I mean. The other trick that I have are these doohickey things. So I only have three, so we're just gonna do three at a time. That's fine. And they fold out like this, and they hold your bag open. You don't need them, but they do make your life a little bit easier. 
And then the other thing that I did, which helps me out to do this really quickly, is I already have all the ingredients out. And the only thing is I'm trying to see if I want to be super lazy or not. It calls for lime juice. And I was just going to like quarter the limes and just chuck like a quarter lime in there. As they thaw in the fridge, I will, they'll, the lime will juice will come out. But you can obviously juice your limes if you want to. I just want to skip that step. And then what I do basically is the night before or two nights before I take the bag out of the freezer, I usually put mine in like a Pyrex dish just in case it leaks. And I let it defrost by itself in the fridge for one to two days. And as it's defrosting, it marinates in all of these beautiful marinades that we're gonna make today. But anyway, let me stop blabbing. Let me turn the camera around and let's get through these. I'm starting the clock from when I turn the camera on. Let's see how long this takes me. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna juice these really fast. I did find my little juicer here. So I'm just gonna take the juice from all four of these limes. Okay, so these are all labeled. I just put down a towel so I don't make too much of a mess. And I am going to get three packs of drumsticks. I have them sitting in my sink in some water. I just put them there. I didn't thaw them. I'm just thawing them enough to get them out of the plastic basically. So let me grab this. I'll be right back. Okay, so first up is the cilantro lime chicken. So I brought out like two different measuring ones. My measuring spoons I'm going to keep for the dry things and the wet things I'm going to use these. They're by OXO and they go all the way down to the teaspoon. So here is some olive oil, lime juice, the honey I'm just going to kind of eyeball. And then I've got one of these little packs of cilantro here. It says to chop it, but I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to tear it into a couple bunches. Two cloves of minced garlic. I'm doing a cheat and doing the squeeze stuff, so I'll just kind of eyeball it here. And then some salt. And that's it. First one done. So it is going to be hard to squeeze all the air out of these because the drumsticks are kind of like in this little block and they are frozen. So I'm just going to try to get out as much air as I can. And then once they thaw in the fridge, I will like kind of massage the marinade all around the meat is what I kind of do. I don't even worry that everything didn't mix together. So there's the first one. Next here we have, this is the sweet chili chicken marinade. This one's even easier. So you have our chicken and I'm using sweet chili sauce. Man, my cap just broke. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad sign. So I'm gonna do six tablespoons of this. We're gonna use soy sauce. I'm gonna use coconut aminos. And some water. That's it, that one's done. Done. Same thing, get as much air out as I can. If you use the fresh drumsticks from the grocery store, you can probably align them a lot better than I'm doing. So the jerk drumsticks is probably one I'm looking forward to the most. So we're adding some dried thyme, allspice, brown sugar, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, some dried cinnamon, cayenne pepper, olive oil, and finally lime juice for this one. So that's the jerk chicken done. I think that was the one with the most ingredients to it. All right, let me load up on some more chicken here. Okay, so my camera shut off on me for a second. I'm on the lemon ginger chicken. I don't know what I said before it cut off. So I put in there just olive oil, lemon juice, and I'm about to add some ginger and I'm doing the cheat of the squeeze grated ginger. And then some salt and red pepper flakes. That one is done. Oh, 
Okay, so Chipotle lime is the next one. So here's the deal. I don't have the adobo sauce, which would be ideal. The little can of, um, I believe it's smoked jalapeno. What I do have is dried Chipotle, smoked red jalapenos seasoning. So I'm going to use some of this. I'm just eyeballing. I don't even know how much I'm putting in here. Probably a generous two teaspoons, I'm guessing. Some olive oil, paprika, brown sugar, some garlic, lime, and salt. That one's done. Here we go, honey garlic, olive oil, soy sauce. Again, I was using the coconut aminos. We're gonna add some honey. Garlic. And water. That's it. So I just have one more. And this is probably the easiest one, just barbecue chicken. And I actually have two bottles of barbecue sauce open in my fridge right now, which drives me bananas. So I'm going to use probably most of this. This one will be saucy and I wanted this out of my fridge and I'll probably do want this one in like the slow cooker so I can just sit there in those delicious barbecue sauce juices. And that one's done. We're done. So that was 20 minutes and to be honest, the hardest, not the hardest part, the most time consuming part was getting it out of the plastic packaging and into these silicone bags. So half hour of effort and I have seven meals done. Gonna go in my freezer. All right, let me get cleaned up here. So 30 minutes of work and I have seven dinners in the freezer ready to go. Like I said, this one you can do in the oven, you can do it in the air fryer, you can do it in the barbecue, you can do it in the slow cooker, instant pot, tons of ideas. I will leave the original recipe for all of these marinades in the link below. Like I said, she gives you the cooking instructions. The recipes are for chicken breasts. I'm using drumsticks, but she does show you how to manipulate the times if you're using dark meat. So I'm going to get all of these in the freezer. I'm so glad to get this project off my to-do list and I whittled down some of my drumsticks in my meat freezer. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time. Bye.